Good day all. It's a bright, sunny, actually kind of warm winter's day. It's mid-50s Fahrenheit and uh, I was just getting back from my walk in the woodland and uh, I wanted to share the tide, how high it is. We have a nice set of waves. We had a big windstorm last night. It was so windy last night. In fact, that it actually, I uh, was awakened from the sound of the wind rattling in the uh, the windows and I could hear the tide so loud. Um, in fact, the tide was much higher, but we've had a, a newer moon, so we've had really, really extreme tides. And the other day we had the flats, so it's actually out mudlarking. So uh, <laughs> yes, we're here, everything is covered by the sea. Yesterday afternoon, the sea had completely left and I was out in the sand digging about for treasures. Of course, I forgot to bring my camera, but I was just caught in the moment of, <laughs> of doing that after my morning walk. But you can see it's nice after a few days of rain. The sun has come out. The waves are loud and high. You can see the sea foam. And I actually walked to the docks already. I didn't have my camera with me. The tide was a little bit higher, so it was right underneath the, uh, the, the floorboards of the deck. So yes, today's video thought I'd start it out, or this week's video, I thought I would start out with the high tide beating away. It's funny how here on our little shore, some days we can have quiet solitude with just the soft fog and the sound of the fog horns in the distance or the wailing cries of the gulls. And it's very serene and quiet. And then other days like today, the surf is pounding and you can see all the froth on the sea. Of course, El Tanan Seagull is out. You can see, again, how the spitting rock got its name when the waves hit it from behind, or the crevices, it spits water out. And you can see the white caps beating up on the shore. Well, just sharing a wavy high tide for this week's video. All right, let's get on with the rest of the video. And in typical New England fashion, we go from sunny waves to soft, gentle snowfall, with the trees laced and painted in freshly fallen New England winter snow. So, off to my mother-in-law's for an afternoon visit. And after an afternoon visit in the snowfall, I ran into the village near my mother-in-law's house and I wanted to get a coffee before heading back home. And I thought I would just grab a quick little bit of video. I thought this is darling. The Sturgis Library has a little take a book, leave a book. I love these sorts of little moments in small towns and villages. 
but here's the high street on what was snowy but now a rainy day. New England white picket fences, aged cedar shakes, and heading to a wonderful little coffee shop, Nirvana, to grab a coffee and to head on back home to Bunny Hall. Just another day out on Cape Cod. day and from sunny high waves to cool snow to soft rain we're back to a sunrise at Bunny Hall and I thought I would share this week's artwork when I was sketching in my sketchbook the other morning this darling little bunny fellow hopped onto my imagination so I couldn't help sketching him out I'd actually done a uh, sketch last year which I entitled Clement Hare and uh, I actually enjoyed him. I was looking at him, so I decided to do another sketch. Uh, and then this, I wanted him to uh, be in the garden. So then I sketched him by a pair of dirty garden gloves, garden tools, and of course a garden hat. And I like the idea of uh, us wandering, rather he hopped along to find garden tools left by someone, or if he himself, Clement Hare, has his own little bit of magic. And when everyone's eyes are turned, he goes from gardener to rabbit. So I added watercolor, and I will probably add more interesting detail to him. I'm also considering taking some of my illustrations and turning them into oil painting as well, digitally. So we shall see. But I just wanted to share that bit of uh, some of this week's artwork as the sun rises on Bunny Hall and how drastically the weather changes from high seas to calm, cool, reflective waters. quite calm and quiet, except for the birds singing their morning tune. And the sunrise. And this is interesting here. It looks like someone is out clamming quite early, which of course is because the tide was low and we'll probably have flats. Well, thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed another quick little postcard here from Bunny Hall. And until next time, hope you find a quiet moment in your day to indulge in your own passions. And as always, stay creative. Cheers.